So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. This is obviously an inequality graph, right? A graph of inequalities or a single inequality. I'll just call it a graph. Um, so we, what do I know? Anytime I see a linear graph, I like to pay attention to intercepts. I have an x-intercept here. I don't know exactly where that is, but it's negative something. And I have a y-intercept here that looks like it goes through a negative 1. That's what it looks like to me. And then, of course, my graph is shaped above this, so this is some, This is y is greater than something. Um, and I can really honestly figure out what everything is because I can figure out the slope if I want it to. Let's just do that. Let's just find. Let's just figure out exactly what this, equal, what this inequality is. So if my slope or my y-intercept is negative 1, I have that. So, by the way, I'm treating this y, like y equals mx plus b because I see that it's a line, right? So it's linear. But because it has a dashed line here and shading, I know it's an inequality, so it's not really equal to, it's more so like greater than, okay? So my B value, which is my Y intercept, I could tell visually from this graph is negative one. So I just put that in the B position. So I'm gonna have an X here as well. So all that's really left is now this M value. What's my slope? So how do I find the slope? I'm going to choose a point that looks like it goes right through the middle of an intersecting line, grid line, on my, um, on my graph here. And then I'll choose another point that also looks like it goes through, and I'll just use the y-intercept here. So then, what's the, what's the slope? So from this point to this point, I go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So down 6 is negative 6. And I go to the right, 1, 2, which is positive 2. So because my slope is equal to rise over run, I'm going to say, well, my rise was negative 6. Right? I went down 6 units. My run was positive 2. I went to the right, 2 units. So my slope is negative 6 divided by 2, which is negative 3. So that's the number that belongs in front of the x. Right? because that is my m value. So hopefully you see I just I just calculated, really not even calculated, I just visually uh, determined what my slope is and I visually determined what my y-intercept is. So the question says the shaded region shows, shown represents the solutions to which inequality. So I'm just looking for whatever matches this at this point, right? So y is greater than is what I want, so I don't want y less than, so a and b are gone. And then I want my y-intercept to be a negative 1, which it is for both. But I want my slope to be a negative 3x, which it is only for choice D, not choice C. Therefore, choice D is the correct answer.